What is going on guys? So I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this video for quite a while, man. We actually have hit level 1000 on Black Ops 3 by only using melee weapons, knifing weapons, and never shooting a bullet, never using a lethal explosive, and never using a lethal kill streak. So I've only gotten knife kills, I only use support streaks, and we have got level 1000 on Black Ops 3. And I actually didn't unlock level 1000. My homie Dismo unlocked it during a stream a couple nights ago. And shout out to the homie, man. Without you, bro, I wouldn't be where I am today. And guys, literally, I can't believe we've actually completed this. I I've had it in my brain. I've been wanting to do it. Ever since I found out about 1,000 levels in Black Ops 3, I wanted to be the person that hit that, that you know actually got this. Because other cause has been people that went mass prestige by only using knives and stuff, but they never went 1,000 levels before, man. This is absolutely nuts. I, I can't believe I actually achieved this, but without further ado, guys, let's hop into my stats. All right, so starting off, man, we have 60,000 kills on Black Ops 3, pretty much. We have 59,000, same thing. Uh, 1.99 KD, which is absolutely crazy. I never thought I'd have a 2 KD knifing on a Call of Duty game. My highest was like BO1 with like a 1.6, I believe. I never ever thought I'd have almost or near a 2 KD knifing on Call of Duty. Um, my win-loss ratio is 1.33. I have uh, just over 3,300 3, uh, wins. Um, my score is 7,295,000, which is eh, pretty decent. Um, but I do play a lot of S&D, so my SPM is pretty low. It's a 221, which isn't the greatest, but it's not. It's really good for S&D. All right, so let's hop into medals. I have eight headshots, which are all from the Blister Knife. I'll show you guys later, man. Um, I do have Blister Knife kills, even though I don't have it yet, which is really annoying. Uh, I have two brutal medals. Uh, one was a 28 kill streak on Skyjacked, and the other one was a free for all at Nuked Out Fail. I also have a kill chain. Dismo got that during his stream. Shout out to the homie. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much for the medals right there. We'll go back to them a little bit later. Um, let's actually hop into my weapons, you guys. Are probably wondering what's my most used weapon, and it's the NX Shadow Claw. Uh, I have a 2.38 KD with it, 43,000 kills with the NX, um, a 1 million accuracy. It's super bugged out. Um, the Shadow Claw has always been bugged out. I don't know why. It just it's always been bugged out. So my second. Uh, most most used weapon on this account is the combat knife and i didn't really use the combat knife much as soon as i got my nx shadow claw that's why i don't have many kills with it i have a 0.8 kd because i throw a lot of tomahawks and when you get tomahawk kills while you're using the combat knife it doesn't really count towards your kd it just uh goes towards your tomahawks so that's why the kd is pretty low and the mr6 you guys are probably wondering why do you have mr6 kills bro i had to melee myself to level 40 dude and you didn't get a knife to level 40. So what did you use? You use the pistol so you could hit people in the back and one hit them because punches, no matter where you hit them, is always going to be a two hit kill and I'm not playing hardcore. And then we have the brass knuckles, same thing with the combat knife, low KD because of tomahawking, same with the raven's eye. Uh, Path of Sorrows, I did that for a video. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see another video with that. Uh, I had a lot of fun using it. Uh, Carver, I've used that a decent amount. Slash and burn, same thing with the tomahawks. Uh, RK5, exact same thing with the MR6. Uh, zero headshot, zero accuracy, all just hits in the back. Um, nunchucks, buzz cuts, pretty low as well. Uh, prize fighters have a 2KD, holy crap. Lefty has a 1.12, not bad. But all these are just regular melee weapons, honestly. Um, melee weapons are mad fun in this game, I enjoy it. So let's hop into the weapons, guys. I'm gonna go through this and show you guys I have never gotten a weapon kill in this game. I'm gonna go through it pretty slowly. I do have a lot of DLC weapons, and I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna be pretty pissed when you see how many I actually have, and <laughs> I know you guys want them pretty bad. So. I am sorry about that. I know I cannot use them. I can go in Prime Match and use them technically, but I'm not going to do that because I don't really care for them. Um, obviously, I'd like to have them on my other account just to you know go around and mess around with them. I know you guys are pissed about that. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I am sorry. But um, as you can tell, I've never used an explosive and never used a gun in Black Ops 3. Um, I believe there's three missing weapons I uh, don't have, and one is the ballistic knife. Believe it or not, Knife Only Guy does not have the ballistic knife in Black Ops 3, which is mad annoying. Uh, the DBSR as well, and the uh, LV-8, which those are pretty trash weapons from what I've heard. I will hop into my equipment. I have 5,100 uh, combat axe kills, which is pretty decent. Um, I don't really use them that much. I use them for cross mass mainly. Uh, 25,000 used, uh, not too bad. It would be a lot more, just say I never got the Shadow Claw, it would be a crap ton more Tomahawk kills. Um, so yeah, so I have 6,000 stuns thrown, which is absolutely gross, I'm sorry guys. Um, EMPs, I've used a decent amount of EMPs. Shock charges, I used a little bit of those. Uh, I just recently actually used those because my homie Unseeable, we um, did a ninja montage. 
So as you can tell, I've never used any explosives in this game. The only other thing I've used is a smoke screen. Um, the rest I've never used before. All right, so let's hop into specialist. Uh, my overdrive is my most used because I use a I use it a lot in search and destroy. My I just messed up a lot right there, and I messed up a lot of my words. <laughs> I am sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I use a lot of overdrive in Black Ops 3. I use a lot of Ripper as well. I used that when I was a lower level uh, because I just I don't know it's a good way to level up because you got a lot of medals from meleeing people. So and it's also a meleeing specialist. That's why I've, that's the only lethal specialist I've used in Black Ops 3. So active cam I've used a little bit, heat wave, because I mean that does destroy stuff, but it doesn't really kill people that much. So I kinda used it. Combat focus, I've never used that on my account. Dismo and I believe Dugan actually used it. And as we go down, there I really never used anything in this game. I've never used hardly any of them, dude. Like I need to give some of them a try. I've used vision pulse because I was ninja defusing. Uh, so yeah. And then we go to score streaks. I have UAV, counter UAV, and hater. I have 367 haters, so that's like essentially 12 streaks with a knife. I know not all of them were 12 streaks, but essentially that would be a 12 streak with a knife. Um, so I have like 4,300 UAVs used, 2,600 counter UAVs, 74 care packages. I always give them to my team. Never got a kill with a care package. If you get killed by a care package, you're trash. But as you can see, I've never used any lethal score streaks in Black Ops 3. I've never used a power core. I think Dismo used power cores on my account. So I've never really used those. But I mean, they don't kill people, so it's all good. All right, let's hop into game modes. Um, my most played game mode is obviously going to be Search and Destroy. 2,600 wins, 1,900 losses. My highest streak in Search and Destroy is a 20 winning streak, which is really good. And my score per minute is a 146, which is absolutely crazy. That's like 1.5 kills or 1.4 kills. If you round it up, it's 1.5. 1.5 kills per minute in Search and Destroy, which is absolutely crazy. And I have a 2.4 KD only knifing in Search. Is, I don't know how that's possible, dude. But Team Deathmatch, I have 1.7 KD, 1.2 win-loss, not the greatest, but not the worst, I guess. Uh, kill confirm, my win-loss is not positive, unfortunately. Um, we have a lot of losses, because I use that to help me rank up to actual level 40, so that's why my KD isn't the greatest either. Uh, Fracture, I played a lot of that during XP. my win-loss is nuts. Uh, I went straight OBJ in that, so my KD is not good, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Demolition, I have a 2.5 KD, nice. 1.7 win loss, uh, domination, eh, all these are kind of boring. I, I played a little bit of these, man. Kill Deaths all three and capture the flag, bro. My so let's stay in. Um, all right, guys, so let's hop into my leaderboards real quick, and then we'll hop into medals. So my career leaderboards, I am like, I don't know what level I am. Can it load up, please? All right, well, apparently it won't let me show my leaderboards, but I have like 30-something thousand kills in Search and Destroy, which is absolutely crazy. But let's just hop into medals anyway. Screw it. So I have one kill chain, two ultra kills, Two brutals, four mega kills, four assisted suicides. I don't know how. I guess I stunned somebody and they fell off the map or something. It counted as assisted suicide. But I have eight headshots, all by the ballistic knife. Uh, apparently, you can get ballistic knife headshots, but not with the shadow claw. I don't know why it's super annoying. 22, 20 kill streaks. So 20, 22 relentless medals. That's that's pretty pretty good. 19 super kills. Uh, 57 quad feeds that's pretty dang good because i play a lot of search and destroy 60 frenzy kills which is a five a quick five streak um 83 ruthless which is a 15 kill streak which is kind of crazy honestly um 309 fury kills 119 long shots that's either tomahawks i'm pretty sure or maybe crossbows 506 merciless dude that's crazy I can't believe I actually have that many. Holy crap, that's 10 kill streaks, guys. Uh, 3,500 bloodthirsties, uh, 1,300 triple kills, jump shots are at 1,400. Okay. <laughs> 5,100 chopped up medals. That's not bad. 58 or 6,800 double kills, and then we had 26,000 nose breakers, guys. Pretty nuts. Um, this is all. This is kind of boring right here. This is anti score streaks. Really, not much to talk about. Um, 31,000 kills. Uh, so we, as you can tell right there elimination killed an enemy player in search and destroy that's basically just killing somebody in search and destroy so 31,000 times i've killed somebody in search and destroy so that's why i don't have that many kills on my account uh, if you were wondering hero defuse the bomb defuse the bomb 302 times in search and destroy nice oh this one's kind of interesting all right so i've gotten 14 clutches when I was uh, defused the bomb while they were the last player alive and the enemies were alive so 14 ninja defuses that's nice. Um, it's pretty good. Honestly, it's pretty good. Pretty cool. 
because I really don't ninja defuse much. That's actually pretty good. But um, let's actually open up a daily double, Just and I'm gonna show you guys my classes, and I'll pretty much tell you what I use for respawn for S and D. Uh, let's open up these supply drops really quick, see what we can get. Oh, dude, I thought I was gonna get something good. We got the dingo. No. Give me a ballistic knife. Uh, double common. That blows. All right, so let's hop into my classes. I know you guys are probably wondering, oh, TK, what kind of classes do you run? What do you use, man? Um, I've showed you guys before. Obviously, I usually I try to show you every single video what my class setup's looking like, just in case you guys want to go and try it out yourselves. Um, so pretty much, this is my go-to class every single S and D game. Soon as spawn to a search and destroy game, this is the class I choose right here, and it's the NX Shadow Claw with bayonet, one tomahawk. Six Sense, Hardwire, Tracker, Dead Silence, and Blast Suppressor. Obviously, you can trade out if you want to. You want, if you want to take off Tracker and just have on um, Six Sense and Ghost the whole time, you're more welcome to do that. I mean, you could switch it up. Just say, for example, oh well, whoops. Obviously, I'm gonna have to put that back on. Uh, you can take that off and then just put, you know, I can put my Shadow Claw back on right here. And there we go. You could have that same class set up. You know, it's not a big deal, but Tracker does help occasionally. Uh, that's why I do use it, but this is my, basically a mirror image of that class, just with ghosts changed in and out for uh, six cents. And if I feel like an enemy team's gonna have a ghost the next round, or not ghost, have a UAV the next round, I just pop on my ghost class. So that's pretty much why I use it and stuff. And if you guys are wondering what my respawn class is, it's this right here. I've used this every single game I play of respawn. It's the NX Shadow Claw with the concussion, or you can change that out for a Tomahawk, whatever you like, or a Smoke EMP. Whatever your liking is, man. Then we have Ghost, Six Sense, Scavenger, Hardwired, and Blast Suppressor. Obviously, if you don't want to run Hardwired, you don't have to. You run on Dead Silence. You can put something else on. You can put Fast Hands on. I don't know, man. Whatever you choose. Um, this is what I use. This is what I find the most effective. Because I don't like dying by Trip Mines and Shock Charges. So this is exactly why I use it. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, man. This is a long-awaited video, man. Um, it's been... A journey, man. It really has. It's been a grind. It really has, dude. So, hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Too much heart involved with this. Too many people trying to give me what they want me, but I don't want to see the love with this. Click, clack, bang. Baby, this world is insane. Nobody stays in that lane. It's all about fame. I do not care about names.